us us game. So, uh, I don't understand. Doctor Gygax, we can go meet the vendor of Dungeons and Dragons. Hey. Three times three is nine. Two times five is ten. Pardon me, sir. Could I trouble you for some information? Nasty, nasty cheat. I shall say nothing to you. Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is twenty-four. I shall speak only to Professor Schwartz. He understands that I have learned all my lessons. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Apparently, he will speak only with this professor. Perhaps the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful. I have a good idea. If you go to your inventory and you put on your glasses and your wig, you'd look exactly like him. But you're not going to because I have to go look up the document first. <sighs> okay. And uh, they should get that guy teaching uh, elementary school uh, mathematics. I think he could do it. Quite honestly. Yeah, another you know, map position. There should be a passageway leading from one side to the other of this wall. Perhaps someone here knows something about it. Perhaps that crazy man in the, in the cell might know something about This it. door is quite solidly built, but... The lock is rudimentary, so use your spin. Okay. That's all you have to say, dude. Use your spin. Oh, it's another one of these. Sweet mother of God. Alright, I think I got it. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing now. Reset. Um... Oh, herp a derp. Let's try that. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. That's not right. I did it wrong. Why did I have to do it wrong? Get it right eventually. I have to start at seven. There. Nine. One. Five. Ten. Four. Three. Two. One. There. Jeez. Seven. Eight. Nine. And I'm a master lockpick. Holy God! This well must empty directly into an underground river. That's what I would know this about this scene. There's a river. What do I? What? These are the tools of a butcher. Yeah. They. Yeah. That's what I would know this. That's what the, the sawdust on this soil was recently disturbed. Someone was searching for something here. What the? F Who could have forgotten this? Uh, I don't know. Why would that be your question about this whole setup? Like, they're obviously like hacking people up and throwing them in the river, and you're like, Who could have forgotten this key? This key is so important. Like, what the? F what is even wrong with you? Closed. Tight. Yes, I got a key though. A fire poker. Now I have a weapon. Okay. Lots of stuff to pick up, I guess. Closed. Tight. Oh my god. I don't want to hear closed tight again. Closed. Just tight. Bitch.
for Master Gaga. Except reading your letter, I understand that the risk of exposure to my, by my master is great. I believe that even if we employed hair pieces, heavy top coats, and generous tits, nothing would slip him safely past this country's custom officials. As the great day draws near, my master's behavior will become more uncontrollable, and our plans sh should not risk ruin due to unwanted attention. So I ask you to keep light, my master. I ask you to keep light, my master, close at hand. Okay. Okay. So apparently somebody's going to show him the greatness of... Hold on. There's an oily stain on this letter. It smells of iodine. Interesting. Interesting. No, it's not. It's not interesting. No, I just found a document. Unbelievable. These letters are from various Swiss banks and show that the doctor made several sales of precious stones over these last months and each time for higher profit. He must have access to a real treasure. I see numerous transfers were made to an account holder in the Bank of London and another in a bank here in New Orleans. I must take note of these transactions. I see. Complications, big delay, but goods will be ready on time. Need money because no more stones, A. Eh? Oh. A cable from New Orleans sent in the last few weeks. If the shipment of these goods from New Orleans relies upon a transfer of funds from Europe, it is possible the actual exchange won't take place for a few weeks. There may still be time to intervene. All right, Holmes, we're going to intervene. There's a small label that says classroom. Sweet. Oh, more reading. This is what you guys tune in for, right? Reading? I know it. I know it is. Okay. First of all, I'd like to thank you for selecting our bank in order to handle your transactions and account. The jewelers we contacted have made several offers which generously exceed our experts' estimate of the goods of your the value of your goods. I can't read. They also provide solid financial guarantees to back their bids. Okay, so the guys they have bidding on the jewels are also in on it with the doctor because why why else would they be paying way more for the jewels than they're worth? <sighs> And here's all this money so you got deposited for jewels. Okay. Son of a bitch. Let's close that drawer. We don't want to be suspicious after we've stolen every single thing out of this room. The Worship of Ghouls by Count Derlet. I do not think this book would give the reader pleasant dreams if reserved for bedtime reading. Yeah. We're worried about the head and hand here. Look at them! Why? I don't know what this guy Jax studied, but judging by his office and what I saw before, he is more dangerous than any of his patients. True. What's love? I need wolf, right? This man seems to suffer from every possible mental affliction. Judging by the date of his admission, he must be one of the oldest patients here. Hmm. The former hospital director researched his case and mentions Wolf's professor. Apparently, he was the only person of influence with the poor fellow. There is even a portrait of the late professor included in with the reports. I need a beard. Professor Dudemajigger. Okay. So this is Professor Schwartz. Dudemajigger. His name is Dudemajigger. You not listening, Holmes? You weren't listening to me at all. You, you, you. I can pick this lock. Oh, more lock picking. Awesome. I can pick this lock. No, I want to use the key. We're fine. This lock is too complex for this tool. Boom, but a fire pick can do it. I don't know. I feel great pity for the patients who must have been tied to this machine. I don't know. I'm just... A notebook detailing the experiments conducted by Mr. <sighs> Gijax. 
Okay. Are they comparing the cerebrums with talking birds and the patients? We'll find similarities in shape. These similarities in shape will imply similar functions. See, you're not supposed to, like, presuppose what you're looking for. Like, you can't say the, the brains look the same, so I'm going to cut the brains open and see if they look the same and say they look the same. That's kind of stupid. That's not how science works. A patient whose cerebrum portions had not replicated in talking birds were destroyed, continued eating and producing sounds, so though they had no real significance. That's interesting. If a patient's life is maintained and then gradually parts of his cerebrum were removed, it should be possible to identify which human functions correspond to each distinct section of the cerebrum. Practice validates this theory. Unfortunately, a lack of collaboration by the subjects does not allow me to isolate the part of the cerebrum corresponding to reading or acquiring new knowledge. I do not have enough expendable patients for test subjects, as most are needed for the cause. That's nice. By using the phonetic system, the patient, regardless of nationality, learns the specif specified song. However, I have to repeat it in memory to keep track of it. Real question, will they retain their ability to articulate this learnt song after the undesired cerebral sections are removed? Patients react favorably to the training using the phonetics. Destruction of superfluous parts of the cerebrum does not adversely affect the patient's recent memories. In fact, these recent memories stay close to the surface and can be triggered by association with food. So, like a Pavlov's dog kind of thing. Should you thus be capable of fulfilling their assigned tasks submissively and faithfully without rebelling? Okay, so he's teaching them like, he's teaching them like simple tasks and then uh, completely destroying their brain, so that's the only thing they're ever able to do. These birds are from the Avery. They served a purpose beyond mere decoration. There's only one bird, Holmes. What's this? A battery with a crank starter. No doubt used to stimulate his patients. Stimulate. So to speak. The faint signs remaining on this blackboard are in phonetics. It appears that people were forced to recite some text with no real understanding of its meaning. It's a pity that the text was erased. Yeah. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Oh, there's things over here. Now it can't be used for anything. Yeah, it can. It can. It can be used. Now it can't be used for it anything. It can be used for everything. It can be used for everything. I don't understand why you say nothing. It's everything. Now it can't be used for Oh my god, fine. It can't be used for anything. It can't be used for anything. Nothing. Nothing. It can't be used. I'm not gonna elucidate on that. I'm just gonna say it can't be used. Don't you understand? Oh, fuck. Okay. No, I've been there. I need to go to the classroom. Is this the classroom? Why does he keep doing that? No, classroom. No, it's not the classroom. He's not going to talk to me because I don't look like the doctor. Let's go back up here. Uh, one of these means one of these door, doors are, are the classroom. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. There we go. That's the classroom. Good. Two plus two is what? X is what? X is a scary monster. Roar. That's what it is. Good. They found the right answer. X is a scary monster. 